Hi everyone, Sarah here. Welcome back to the Cross for Santa Claus. Now we are on part three, or level three. So go forward and the door will open. Right. And then open the door on the right over here. Into the bookshop and then follow the passageway around. <gasps> Forward, right, and then push this case out of the way, revealing a cross on the wall. Pry the cross off the wall with the crowbar. Turn round. Go to the opposite wall and in the left corner is a star button. Press the star button. That opens the door outside. So exit the shop. left and the door that you opened is over here so enter and you'll see six buttons there's three here and there's three around the other side four of them need to be pulled to open a door at the other end of this room so the left two needs to be pulled on this side as you enter every time you pull a lever it shows the door at the back And then around this side, and then pull the first two this side. Once the door opens, turn round, forward, right. Right again. Climb up this area. And then take the blue star, turn around, climb down the other side of the wall, turn round, go forward. There is a key next to some presents, so take that, the old key. Come to here, turn left and climb up this wall and then climb up into a hole in the ceiling. Climb off to the right. There's nothing on the left. Then drop down. And then go to the end and take the glimmer off the wall. You're going to exit the shop. left we are going to insert the blue star on this wall shoot the grate crawl in take the next secret shoot the next grate crawl out that log fire is now lit it wasn't before come over to here and then use the old key in the lock enter the next building once the doors open go to the back right corner and take the torch Exit. <laughs> Left. Light the torch on the log pile. And 
Come to the back of the street. Left. And light the torch. Drop the torch. Enter the next building. Take the hat near the bookcase. And at the back is another secret. Exit right. There's two foxes in here. Yeah, these are the ones that we saw earlier. Hi kitties, you're cute. Anyway, moving on. Come over to here. Uh, use the glimmer on this moon next to the green door. The green door opens, so enter the building. Right. Use the hat on the Santa Claus. Roll. Shoot this board to uh, make a small crawl space in the pool up here. Drop into the water. There are some flares on this floor, but you don't need them, so why they're there, I have no idea. Anyway, for what three purposes we'll take them? Okay, enter this crawl space, follow it around, then at the end, take the next secret. Then exit back the way you came. And then climb out of the water. Climb onto this ledge. And then jump up and grab the ceiling. And swing across to the other side. Drop down and then drop into the next room. Left. On this wall over here. <coughs> excuse me. On this wall over here is a jump lever. So jump up and grab the jump lever and pull it. That turns the slope into steps so then we can climb up. Once you climb up the last step, you will prematurely get the uh, statistic screen. I think it's premature because you've still got a little bit of stuff to do. There's a statistic screen, which like I say, I think is a little bit too soon and premature. So we've got this woman, push her right twice and then push her into the corner where the picture of her is. Use the cross in the receptacle on the wall, and the door on the right will open, and very creepily, you can see his eyes, Ugh. Santa will come into the room, so that's creepy. Thanks, Christmas can come. Okay. Now we are going up the conveyor belt. Now it's really slow, so... Uh, and jumping up, it doesn't help matters. So uh, basically you've got to wait for the long ride until it finishes. But uh, I can speed things up for you.
when you get to the top turn left and the door is over here enter the corridor pull the lever the doors open in the centre hallway do not enter actually yeah do enter the hallway the doors close climb up I'm doing good at walkthroughs climb up and pull this chain that opens a curtain re revealing a mirror drop down go back left and you'll see a mirror pull the lever again to open the doors again don't go back into the corridor you'll see in the mirror there are some flares you can't see them otherwise so if we go into the center of the corridor about here you'll get the flares and then that crawl space is revealed here so crawl through Now you are behind the corridor where the doors are. Don't enter just yet. Take the candle from the pedestal and around the back here is secret number five, I think. Come on, Lara, pick it up. Six. Now we can exit through this passage. Over here behind the couple that we talked to is another candle. Go back into this pool. Swim down. To the right. And pull the underwater lever. Exit, right, up, come to this underwater door and go to the middle of it and open it. Enter the next passage and swim up. Climb out of the water, go over to this candle holder over here and then combine both candles. And use it on the candle holder the door in this room opens which is over here up the steps up this extremely short ladder right and take the roof key go forward you'll be transported back to the previous area Go forward, right. And enter the pool room again. To the back of this area. Hi, jeez. And up this slope. We don't get a flyby this time you're able to just continue through and use the key on this pillar a door behind the pillar opens enter and follow the passage and the level will end i thank you very much for watching everyone and i shall see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>